If you would like one of our free audio books with NCLEX questions on ACX or Audible, the links are in the description below. Enjoy the questions. Hi everyone, this is Nurse Anna from NurseStudy.net and I figured since we just did the bow tie on the endocrine system, we would go ahead and just kind of revisit diabetes insipidus just to make sure that we've got a good handle on it. So what I've done is I've taken, I have my nursing study guide that I sell in my store. The link is down below. We're going to go to page 113 to 114. The study guide has over 315 pages. So these are the two pages we're going to concentrate for today's lecture on this study guide. So diabetes insipidus, and as you see, I'm taking this part here and I just blew it up and put it on this side so that it would be easier for you to read. Diabetes insipidus, DI, is a condition where the body has a problem with regulating water balance, leading to excessive thirst and frequent urination. This is caused by either a lack of the antidiuretic hormone ADH or the kidney's inability to respond to it properly. Unlike diabetes mellitus, which involves high blood sugar, diabetes insipidus is related to issues with water balance and electrolyte levels. Now, I did have a nursing student ask me a long time ago, she was having a hard time remembering ACH versus ADH. And uh, ACH is not related to this condition, ADH is, and she was just having a hard time remembering that. So what we came up with was the ADH, the D in ADH, um, will be standing for diabetes insipidus. So just remember, ADH, it's that's what we're having an issue with. That's the hormone, ADH. So the D will stand for diabetes insipidus. I hope that helps a little bit. So some of the causes of diabetes insipidus. Well, central diabetes insipidus is caused by damage to the pituitary gland or the hypothalamus, which results in a lack of ADH. And common cause, causes include head trauma, brain surgery, tumors, infections. Now, if you remember on our bow tie earlier this week, the case study, um, our client had a, I believe it was a motor vehicle accident three months prior. So that was one of the clues in the case study. There was a head trauma. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is caused by kidneys not responding to ADH, even though the hormone is being produced. This can be due due to chronic kidney disease, certain medications like lithium, and genetic conditions. And so we have a little visual for you to try to remember what that is. Some of the symptoms of diabetes insipidus is excessive thirst, polydipsia. The person drinks large amount of fluids, especially water. Frequent urination, polyuria. The patient urinates large amounts of dilute urine dehydration. Despite drinking a lot of fluids, the body loses too much water. So symptoms will include uh, dry skin, fatigue, and dizziness. We'll also see a low blood pressure, hypotension due to loss of fluids and dehydration. We also will see increased blood sodium levels, hypernatremia because of the loss of water. Now, I've also had students ask me, and it's a good question. It's a very valid question. Why is it not hyponatremia instead of hypernatremia. I mean, if they're losing all this fluid, you would think that um, the electrolytes are coming out with it. So why is it hypernatremia and not hyponatremia? Well, the reason is you're losing free water. You're not losing salt. So there's a concentration of sodium in the blood now because you're just losing the free water. That sodium's not um, getting coming out with the water. So that's why you're gonna have a hypernatremia. Okay, we're gonna move on to page 114. So nursing care and management. Well, we wanna monitor that fluid balance. We wanna keep track of the intake and output and monitor for signs of dehydration. We wanna administer medications, desomopressin or DDAVP. And this is a synthetic form of ADH and it's used to treat central DI. Thiazide diuretics and nephrogenic DI, these medications help reduce urine output. Encourage fluid intake. Make sure the patient drinks enough water to prevent dehydration. Monitor the electrolytes, especially those sodium levels like we just spoke about um, to avoid complications like hypernatremia. 
patient education. Teach the patient about managing fluid intake and recognizing the signs of dehydration and taking medications as prescribed. So helpful tips for nursing students would be diabetes insipidus is the inability to conserve water. The key uh, symptoms are excessive thirst and frequent urination. Monitor for dehydration. Even though the patient with DI, they drink a ton of water, they can still become dehydrated. And ADH replacement is critical in managing central DI. So desomopressin helps replace that missing hormone. So memory tip, and we'll have a couple more in the next two slides, but basically diabetes insipidus is insufficient ADH. And remember that D will stand for diabetes in case you get that mixed up with any other, any other terminology, just the ADH that's going to stand for diabetes. So increase thirst, increase urination due to inadequate ADH production or response. Now I do want to go back to the slide. We did this in our bow tie. This is the one where I spelled classic wrong. But remember the mnemonic dip for um, diabetes insipidus. So dehydration. The I is I feel faint, meaning hypotension. And P for polyuria. And the other P is, is for polydipsia. So just remember, DI makes you dip into your fluids. You're losing fluids fast, which is polyuria, and your body desperately wants them back, which is polydipsia. But you're still too dehydrated and hypotensive. And again, this slide is also from our bow tie, I believe it was two days ago. But remember, diabetes insipidus is a water problem. And remember the sip in diabetes insipidus, sip, 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 you sip water. And this is how you can remember it from diabetes mellitus, which is a sugar problem. So diabetes insipidus is a water problem and diabetes mellitus is a sugar problem. Um, I hope that you found this very helpful. Again, if you want to purchase the book, it is the link is down below in the shop. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a really good weekend. Take care.